This is lunch today. <laughs> it's a bean and cheese burrito. I'm literally starving. <clears throat> and I have nothing else to eat. So I'm going to pop this in the oven real quick. So while lunch is being made, which by the way, this is what I'm eating. If anyone is curious, I picked it up on a whim from Costco. It is organic bean and cheese burrito with 13 grams of protein. But anyways, so while that cooks, we are going to be doing an unboxing, which I'm so excited about because I've had packages sitting in my hallway for literally weeks now and I just need to get them unboxed and set up. So actually last night, I put together my bar stools for the countertop and I think they turned out so cute. They're um, just from Amazon and honestly, they are better quality than I had expected. I saw these on TikTok and I thought, you know what, let me just give it a go. They were really inexpensive, super affordable, especially great for a rental and they turned out so cute. I love them. They came in these boxes. So I did that last night and we still have a ton more packages to unbox. Um, I finally got a mop and vacuum two-in-one, which I also saw this on, not TikTok, but on Instagram. And apparently this is amazing for wood floors because it mops as well as vacuums and it's super powerful. So I will try that out and report back if it's any good. These two boxes are accent chairs. That big box back there is a bed frame. These are sconces. And then also have my rug, which I'm so excited about. Surprisingly, a lot of my furniture is just from like random places. I will link everything I can down below. I tried to find dupes for everything. I am so worried that this rug is not gonna look like its picture and it's so heavy. I have no idea how I'm going to return it if it doesn't. So I'm just hoping this really turns out nice. This is going to be a mess if it doesn't look decent. Here's the carpet all laid out. I love it. I was so worried that the color was going to be off or that it would have like more brown stripes or something, but it is so pretty in person. I don't think the camera is actually picking it up really well. I'll put a picture here on the screen if you guys are interested, but there are some creases and wrinkles. I'm gonna just lay this out and um, give it some time to kind of just even out itself, but look how pretty this rug is. It was a little bit pricey, but for a rug that is eight by 10, that is a very fairly price. I think it's fair. And on that note, I think my burrito is done. So we shall pop this out. I'm starving. And here's my burrito. Okay. It's done. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot. It's really hot. Um, let me get a spoon and fork. All right, I meant a knife and a fork. Put this. Okay, I know this is so random, and typically I would never eat something like this, but. I went to Costco the other day and this was one of the samples and I guess those demos do work because I ate it and I'm like wait this is so good I would love this on like a day where I'm just like working and I don't have time to make something and clearly that day is today so I'm gonna give this a try it's really hot but I'm gonna burn my mouth It's good. It's all right. It's really good. I'm gonna pass this again. Hello? What's going on? Go ahead and have a look at this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get that. Okay. Oh, it's on the key. Okay. I'll get to this. I'm gonna quickly finish my lunch, drink some water, and then we'll get to unboxing the accent chairs, which I'm really excited about.
go. The colors are throwing me off. I like the style. I don't know if I like the color. Like, I don't know if it's too light. And I don't know if I like the fabric. But I'm literally sweating. Who told me I could do this on my own? I don't know, but I got one more box. that we got in so these are from Target and then that is from Walmart so we're gonna try those out Um, we ended up going with the high fashion home sectional. It's perfect because it's like the right size and we wanted the chase to be on the left side because we wanted like a little partition between the bar stools and the chase. And I think it's actually turning out so cute. I can't believe it's like actually turning out to be like a home. Finally starting to come together. I really love the way it looks. So these are the two accent chairs I unboxed yesterday. And then those are the two that I got from Target, which I think I'm gonna return. And truthfully, I liked these better because they were swivel, but the color is just, I think, a little too light. And um, it also came damaged. Like there's like scratch right there. There's no cushion there. But I loved that it swiveled around. But I think the color is a little bit too light. In videos and pictures, it comes off a little bit darker, which I do like, but like in real life, I feel like it's a little too light. And if I'm being completely honest, I feel like those are a little too dark. So I'm gonna keep looking. I'm thinking maybe instead of like uh, color, I need to go for neutral, like that tone um, accent shirt as well. And then I'll put maybe a colored uh, console table, not console, what is that called? Coffee table, I don't know. But it's coming together and I love it. I just got back from the mall and right next to the mall was the container store. So I popped in and got a ton of these little bins so I can organize all my stuff. So in my closet, like I really don't have a lot of shelving. I showed you guys in my last video my closet is just kind of a, a miss so i got these little drawers and i think this will be nice to put my hijabs my undercaps in and it's like a oh it's tape but it's like a little pull out drawer and it's stackable so i got two of them one of them i'm gonna do hijabs and then the other bin i'm going to do undergarments and i feel like for now that's just gonna be the best method and then I got a ton of these like clear bins i'm gonna put some underneath my sink cabinet and put like dishwasher soap and like Lysol and the Clorox wipes, stuff like that. And I got a few more. Let me show you guys. I actually have everything like already put away in cabinets. So, okay. So all of this organization I got from Amazon, so I can link it for you guys if you're interested. Honestly, all this organization can become very overwhelming, but once you're done, it makes your life so much more productive and simple. I swear, like organization helps simplify your life. Just trust me on it. So I got these little egg carton thing. This is just gonna be nice to place my eggs in and be able to pull this out of the refrigerator easily. 
I also got this food wrap dispenser so I can put in like I think aluminum foil yeah aluminum foil and parchment paper and it just like it has like a little slicer so it slices it really easily and then I also got this little organizer for Ziploc baggies and stuff like that so this will all be in my TikToks, I'm dividing up all my content, so YouTube will be more like the casual, showing you guys everything, like a wholesome overview of um, like my apartment, and then TikTok is a breakdown of like each area, like kitchen organization, pantry organization, bathroom organization, and I get more detailed in there. Like I actually show you guys putting things away if that makes any sense. So let me show you guys around. I don't know if I mentioned this uh, yesterday, but these are dupes from Walmart. So I'll link these down below. They were like $230 a piece, which is literally a steal. If you are in the furniture shopping space or era, you'll know exactly how expensive furniture can be. And I found these for really, really inexpensive. Obviously, they're not the perfect dupe. I mean, they're not the best fabric, but for the look and for pictures and from far away, it's perfection. I feel like the fabric is a little bit um, softer and not as like even tone as the restoration hardware fabric, but literally this is like a tenth of the cost. I think the restoration hardware ones were $1,200 or $1,300 a piece. I am loving the way my apartment is coming together, alhamdulillah. I feel like it's like literally everything I imagined. The only last bit that I really want here, which I don't know is going to happen, but I want curtains on either side of the living room just to make it a lot more romantic and like soften up the space a little bit. I feel like it'll give it a soft feminine touch. So got in my vase for my fake olive tree. This is literally like the most influencer thing I can get. Every single influencer has this pot in their house with a freaking olive tree and I am finally one of those influencers. I always thought it was pretty, but obviously in my bedroom, I had no place for it. So finally in my living room, I can have that. I feel like I'm getting sick. I just feel like I've been stressing myself out, doing a million and one things. I've been like pushing boxes, lifting boxes. My body is just so worn out. So I feel like I definitely need to chill and relax a little bit. Um, and I'm glad that next week I'm actually going to Korea. I'm so excited. So I feel like it's kind of bad timing, but also good timing. I'll be able to like finally step away and just relax and unwind a little bit. But also I'm like so sad to leave this place because I just want it furnished and I want it to feel like home before I leave. If you guys have any recommendations or if you've been, places to stay, places to visit, things to eat, Korean skincare to try, please let me know down below. I'll definitely be reading through the comments and through everyone's suggestions. I've been going on TikTok like every night and just like looking up skin treatments, skin spas, like hair spas, and I've been making a list of things that I want to try out. So that will be so exciting. And then what am I doing? Oh, I'm going to Palestine in November too. So those are like my two biggest vacations. And then aside from that, it's just going to be more house content. Also, look at this guys. I have a big old safety pin here because I don't have a magnet, a hijab magnet at my apartment. Okay, but anyways, it's getting pretty dark. So I'm going to end my vlog here. Let's see if we can catch a sunset on the vlog. No, no sunset. It's okay. Maybe next time. I'm gonna end my vlog here. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your sweet and kind messages and well wishes with my new plays. A lot more content to come. I'll be sharing a lot of like cooking recipes and just like as this place comes together, I'll definitely be sharing more and more of it. So I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great week and I might be vlogging a lot more often. So just just make sure you're checking your subscription box. I don't want to commit and say I'm going to do like two videos a week and then fall off. So we'll just put this in the universe and just hope that I, I upload more. So I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next one.